Um, if you think of the economy, China was the largest economy for 18 of the 20 centuries in the years after Christ. 18 of those 20 centuries, China probably was the largest, as far as we can tell, China was the largest economy in the world. And certainly, China and India together were far and away the largest economies in the world, far larger than uh, what we had in Europe. And if you think of the 19th century when China was kind of putting things together, uh, going through this problem of opening up and really dealing with Western trade and the, in, the, uh, uh, the penetration of Western uh, naval powers, uh, the United States, they were a huge economy and we were this little, little frontier economy. That's what we were doing. If you live in the 20th century, it's all different because China is going through tremendous civil disturbances, civil divisions, which is uncharacteristic of most of their 20th century. Mostly for those 20 centuries, they have been uh, a unified country and relatively uh, stable. But the 20th century was different, and yet that's our experience of China. So the historical perspective I find very useful. We may be looking forward to a couple of centuries of great stability in China. Uh, and finally, the, the society, a population 1.3 billion, it needs to create 13 million new jobs annually to keep employment up. So China is having 7 to 8 percent growth, GDP growth. The United States, we basically have 1 to 2 percent GDP growth, but we have a much larger base, of course. China has a, has a smaller base in terms of their uh, economic development. Um, but <laughs> that's, you have to have 6 to 7 percent growth per year in order to employ the people. That's what it means to have 1.3 billion people.